There are five ways to lose your parrot's trust. It is interesting how some animals are very loyal, while others can stop trusting you easily. Take the example of a dog. You can fail to give him food, but he will always come back to you and give you the unconditional love as always. However, if you are a parrot owner, the case might be different. You can easily lose your pet's trust and probably never regain it ever again. If you're wondering how that can happen, this video has 5 sad ways that you might experience that. Keep watching to find out about the same. Punishing or hitting your parrot. When you have been hit, you might get a physical injury. Not only that, you probably will want to get back at whoever did that to you. Well, if you think it can only happen to human beings, then you need to know that the same can happen to your pet too. The little pet can be at risk of getting injured the moment you pounce on her. You wouldn't want to have an injury and a hurting pet, would you? Plus, taking care of her in this condition requires a lot more patience, attention and even love. Moreover, when you are the cause of the situation, you probably will be guilty. So why not avoid all the drama? Nonetheless, whenever you hit the pretty pet, it can get back at you. Remember, she is created with a weapon on her face already. She might as well use it on you. Well, if you bring in violence on her, she might just return the same to you. When you continually hit or punish your parrot, perhaps because you don't like when she does something in a certain way, you might just lose her trust in you. This is like forcing the beautiful creature to do things your way, which might not be good for her. As you had seen, she might just react to it. Negatively though. As much as when you are punishing the parrot, you might have a reason for it, the bird will not get the message. In most cases, your punishment won't be related to the mistake committed. Your parrot will consider you mean and might stop trusting you. Scaring your parrots when training. You have had some nice sessions with your new friend, training and enjoying each other's company. The little friend could be young or new and might need training. Your training sessions are all interesting until one day you make a mistake that could cost you the trust your pet had. As you were training, you could have scared your parrot. Remember, parrots might not forget easily. The only thing that can happen is the loss of your friendship. The beautiful creature might find it difficult to trust you again. How sad. If at all you are wondering how you can scare her when training, well, you will get an instance. Suppose when training, you notice that everything is going well. You are very glad about the steps and improvements of your pet, so you want to bring in more challenges for a more exciting experience. It could be an act that might scare your pet away. And this can make her lose her trust in you. Nonetheless, this could be a huge undertaking for your little friend. Perhaps to you it seemed simple, but to the pet it wasn't. Such actions can push the fear threshold of your parrot very far. This way, something that you thought was harmless fun could prove to be disastrous. Whenever you're training your parrot, ensure you don't do something that will scare her away. Also. Don't expect her to do something that probably she isn't ready for. Let your training be fun, not scary. Applying force on your little friend. Being forced into doing something, especially when you don't want to, is a bad experience. As much as you might get done with whatever you wanted, the effect on the other party can be bad and at times might last for a while. Well, if you choose to use force on your pet parrot, the same can happen. You might get her to do what you wanted, but you can lose her trust too. Remember, the results of your force application can be bad and can be long-lasting. However, this does not mean that you should never force your parrot into doing anything. At times, you might do it for good reasons. If you are using force on her to get her out of a possibly dangerous situation, why not? After all, you are saving her life. You want the best for her. If you force your parrot into doing something that she doesn't want out of pure frustrations or anger, you can lose her trust. On the other hand, if you're doing it for her good, you might win her heart and she might even grow to get accustomed to the act. The good news is, 
If your parrot is skeptical, you can still get her to do even what she doesn't want, as long as it is something beneficial to her. However, if you have had a stressful day and want to pour your frustrations to the pet, you might lose a great deal, tricking your parrot. You might trick your parrot into doing something beneficial to her, but she might not understand. Whatever she feels stands. After all, she will not reason like you or see things from your perspective. In some cases, you might want to get something done or have your parrot do something. To make work easier for both of you, you can decide to apply some tricks. As an example, you are already late for work. Your parrot isn't in the cage yet and doesn't seem to be ready to get in either. However much you try to secure her to the cage, she doesn't cooperate. Also leaving her roaming freely out of the cage unattended is risky too. What do you do? Since you know that your friend loves it when you pet her in your car, you call her towards you. She comes thinking it is all the lovely dove feel she gets when inside your car. However, this time around, you just use that as a tactic of getting her to you and taking her to the cage. You quickly grab her and take her to the cage, locking the door quickly even before she realizes it. Well, expect her not to trust you next time if you do this to her. Ignoring the parrot The game sessions have been awesome. You have bonded so much with your cute friend. You feel as if that session was enough, you want to focus on some other thing. This could be true and makes a lot of sense. After all, you can't play with your parrot the whole day, can you? There are other important things than tasks to perform. This is alright, until your pet feels as if you're ignoring her. She might get her playful side still up when you're perhaps busy typing that project you had. She could come and play on your shoulder, but since you are focused on other things, she might feel sidelined. Other than this scenario, your pet parrot can feel ignored when you suddenly shift your attention to something else when you were busy interacting with her. Say for example, your puppy or cat walks in and you caress him for slightly longer, leaving your parrot. Your attention is diverted and your parrot might not take it kindly. If this happens more than once, you can lose the parrot's trust. Parrots are amazing creatures. They are fun to be around. However, there comes a time when you can lose their trust. Importantly, you should stop acting angrily on your parrot as a result of your frustrations. And thank you all for watching, if you want more videos make sure to subscribe and like this video.